just wanted to do this short video on the critical path. What is the critical path? Well, the critical path is the longest chain of activities in a project that are linked together and affect the end date of your project. So if any of these activities changes duration, this automatically will affect the end date of your project. So the critical path is now available in Project for the Web. How cool is that? And using it is very easy. So let's head on over to my machine and see that in action. All right, here we are on the project homepage. And from here, I can access any of my Project for the Web uh, projects. This can also be done for, through the Project Accelerator or any other tool that integrates with Project for the Web. And you can build your own, obviously. So let's have a look at the critical path project that I created earlier. In here, I created a very simple critical path, one that sticks out immediately. There is a non-critical set and there is a critical set. So if we look at that through the timeline, and if I zoom out a bit, and if I move it a bit to the side, what I see is I have these two sets of activities. Now, critical path automatically would pick up this set of activities because they are uh, driving the end date of our project. That is pretty obvious, right? This, this task can take another week and there won't be any issue. This milestone, however, is at the end of the project. So let's have a look. Uh, the critical path can be accessed through the filter option. So here is the show critical path option. And if you click on it, it turns a nice little red. Well, little, it turns bright red. Everything on this cr path is critical. These, these tasks, as a project manager, you need to guard those because if they slip, your project is going to slip as well. Currently, the project uh, critical path is not only available for the timeline view. Um, on board view, there is no option. And on grid view, there is also no option. But I know that there is a couple of people that have asked Microsoft already to include critical paths uh, visualization on both board and grid view. I've seen a couple of nice examples and I'm looking forward to getting critical path on all three of the views. Now, keep in mind, critical path is not as advanced in as in Microsoft Project, where you can have additional settings, such as the critical path within a couple of days, um, having multiple critical paths. Those options are available currently. But it is a huge, huge advantage that we now have critical path in Project for the Web. So let's see the critical path change. If I extend the duration of this task, I would expect it to update, and it does. It does quite nicely. If I, for instance, add a dependency between this task and the next, it also updates. So now I have the first task and the critical tasks all align and forming a nice critical path. Let's see that in action for a bigger project as well. So navigating back to project home, I have the new business development projects. These are copies from earlier projects in Microsoft Project, and they open up in a Power App, which is nice. Let's see if that works as it should. So in here, we navigate to the tasks. From the tasks, we have grid, board, and timeline view. And from the timeline view, we have the filter. And here it is not yet available. That was unexpected. But we can assume that this will be implemented quite uh, fast. It might be that this project is part of a non default environment and that this is currently only available in default environments. 
I'll ask the team if that's the case. And um, Microsoft issue, if you're watching this video, please let me know if that's the case. You can find out what I found out in the comments down below. If you like this short video, let me know. If you want me to dive deeper into critical path or project management methodologies in Project for the Web, let me know and I'll make sure to look into it and create another video for you.